Hey, what is up guys? Matt and Jackson here with the Toaster Bros, and today we're gonna to be building the $275 PC. Let's get right into it, shall we? This video is brought to you by Toasty Deals, a Twitter account made by, well, us, to deliver you PC hardware and tech deals every day located right in your Twitter feed. Check the link down below and drop a follow, and also mention us on Twitter telling us what kind of deals you are looking for, and we will do our best to try to make it happen. So check out Toasty Deals today, link in the description down below. All right guys, so the core for this PC is the AMD Athlon 200GE, which is a dual core processor, but comes with SMT. Uh, this thing is really good for daily compute tasks. And as we mentioned, this is a PC build rather than a gaming PC build, but it can play some games with this app on. We'll be showing you some benchmarks with this CPU once we get to it. And to hold the CPU, we have a motherboard. And this motherboard is very important for this build because it allows for some upgradability in this system. With the B450M motherboard, you can upgrade easily to a Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7 CPU and pretty much turn this from a budget office PC into a full workstation PC. As for the RAM, we have some Patriot Viper memory at 3000 megahertz, eight gigabytes to be exact. This will do perfectly for the integrated graphics on this APU and it allows for decent speeds and decent capacity for whatever you need for daily compute tasks. And to power the system, we have the EVGA 500W 80 plus certified bronze power supply. So this thing has more than enough room to be able to upgrade in the future to higher power parts. And it even has sleeved cables. And for storage, we just have a simple Western Digital Blue 320 gigabyte hard drive that we got for $10, you can't beat that. And the case we have here is the DIY PC Ranger, please sponsor us. And you can't actually get this version anymore. You actually have to get the updated version or just any other $30 DIY PC cases because they have a million of them. And we'll have some recommendations linked down in the description below. All right, so how about we get right to building this PC?
Alright guys, so now that the PC build is complete, let's talk about the rationale behind building a PC like this and also dive into some benchmarks. Now yes, for $275 you can build a used parts PC that can outperform this PC in games. And as you can see on screen with some of the benchmarks using the built in Vega GPU on the Athlon 200GE, this thing is a 720p low slash medium settings gaming capable computer that is more meant to be an office PC. And that's where those Athlons are going to come in handy is in budget office systems. As you can see in games like Fortnite, PUBG, and CSGO, the performance is relatively okay. Fortnite at 720p can play the game around 50 to 60 FPS. PUBG at low settings, very low settings with a very low render scale and 720p, can play the game at a lock 30 FPS. And CSGO can play the game at around 90-ish FPS, sometimes dipping below 60 with a few stutters here and there. But overall, it's a playable experience, just not a very enjoyable one. And we knew that coming into this PC build. The main reason for this build was to build you a working computer that can be used for whatever task you want to use it for. Let's say office work, school work, maybe a little bit of design work, a little bit of editing maybe on the side, very light editing, and then have the ability to upgrade this thing later on. That is why we chose the B450 motherboard with the ability to upgrade to something like a Ryzen 7 later on, and the decision to go with 8 gigabytes of 3000 megahertz memory, because you can get some decent performance out of the box as you see on the game charts playing some of these games. Now as I mentioned before, this thing is perfect for upgradability and we decided to test that by throwing in an EVGA B stock deal that we picked up a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, hit the eye in the top right corner and check that video out. This is a GTX 970 for $89. These deals are popping up all over EVGA B stock and eBay and cards like this are pretty easy to get. But with new generations out from Nvidia, the 970 is readily available for really decent prices. And we wanted to show you all what you could get performance wise by just slapping this in this system using the Athlon 200GE as a CPU. CPU, and well, as you can see on screen, the performance numbers are actually really impressive. We can actually run Fortnite on our pro settings, epic view distance and everything else on very low at well over 60 FPS, 70-ish, 80s, and into 100s at some use cases. And if we expand into games like PUBG, the results are even better. With this Athlon being able to carry this GTX 970 pretty easily actually, and not bottlenecking it too much. Now yes, in games like CSGO, PUBG, and Fortnite, the ones I demoed here, there is a CPU bottleneck, meaning that this GPU is being held back by the Athlon, but it's not to the point where this system is unusable with a GPU upgrade. I would recommend if you do build this PC and you are planning on upgrading in the future, my first step would be just grab a dedicated GPU, something like a 1050, 1050 Ti, or maybe like a 970, and then later on upgrade the CPU, and, and boom, after those two upgrades, your system will be very capable to play games and do much, much more. So for those who are going to comment in the comment section down below that this PC will be much better if it was using used hardware, you are one 100% correct. This is a PC build for those who want to see a PC build using all new hardware and what you're able to do right now on the new market and what kind of upgradability you can get in the future by starting out with this PC. Is it perfect off the bat? No. But is it an option that you all can consider to get into the gaming market somewhat while still having a functional PC? Yeah, it's a very good option and we highly recommend it. So how about we wrap this video up real quick. Alright guys, so as you can tell, this PC can play some games on the side while also being an affordable office PC that you may want to put together. And you could go with a wide range of different uh, cases from DIY PC considering this one is not available. And the other good part is this has a lot of room for upgradability such as a graphics card and even a Ryzen 3, 5, or 7. Alright, so we hope you guys like this video. If you do, smash the like button. If you disliked it, well, smash the dislike button and let us know down below what we did wrong. And also check the description if you want to see some part lists to be able to purchase the stuff for this PC. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and yeah, we'll see you all in the next video.